I'm a big fan of Hamparo. I remember watching episodes of Hamparo back when I was a kid. So, one day, I was at home watching some slice of life anime which was Mitsuboshi colors until a postman from Taiwan, known as Lin Xiaiping, stopped at my house and sent a package. I decided to open the package and inside was something that I could not explain. It was a Hamparo DVD. The title was just, Totoko Hamparo in Japanese with a DVD video logo on two sides, with no Hamparo and his friends whatsoever, just on a white background. There were no names or anything, but I decided to open the case and I saw a CD with a text written with a marker saying, I to Hamparo. I put the CD onto the DVD player and I watched it. The Hamparo anime intro played, but the theme song sounded a bit strange and eerie. It sounded like G major, which made my heart jump the second it played. After the intro was done, the title card was shown, but, strangely enough, there was no text. I was a bit creeped out, and there is no music luckily. Soon after that, the episode begins. I see Hamparo having fun with his friends such as Bijou, Sandy, Lapis, Lazuli, Stan, Maxwell, Cappy, Oxnard and Dexter in the caged arena in nighttime. Hamparo happily went. Wee! This is fun! It made me go. Ow! That's super adorable! until Bijou's head suddenly bulges up and explodes, killing her. I gasped. Hamparo gasps and he says, Bijou, it's Kikudo Shinken. Was this related to Fist of the North Star? Don't think so. Anyway, Hamparo says, Sandy, Lapis, Lazuli, Stan, Maxwell, Cappy, Oxnard and Dexter. Bijou's head bulged up and exploded. Get her to the ambulance. His friend's faces look like they were half dead, which angers him Hamparo and he yells. What are you Hamos waiting for? Get Bijou to the ambulance! His friends suddenly fall over, dead. A darkened and dark blue, tinted man appears, by fading inches, I ask to myself. What is that man doing here? He walks slowly into the arena. It is, of course, the shadow figure as the white noise and the dramatic orchestral music are heard in the background. I thought the man was going to be Kenshiro, but it doesn't happen. Hamparo schemingly says, Well, this is a change. A man who's responsible for the killing of my friends and is in a hurry to go to hell. The shadow figure charges up his power which rips away his shirts while yelling. I don't mind if horror characters charge up their powers. Hamparo clasps his face in shock and says, Gasp he. It's the shadow figure with his power. And the shadow figure points at Hamparo as he says, Hamparo. You deserve a new one thing, death. Hamparo replies, Come on. The attack begins as flames on Hamparo's eyes appear. He jumps up, and he sticks his arm out, to the side, successfully slashing the shadow figure's chest. He then leaps up, to try an attack from above, but the shadow figure is ready for him. As his opponent lands in front of him, he hits the latter's hands. The music abruptly stops. Hamparo's hands explode, then he screams and stomps his foot. He walks backwards, as the shadow figure says, it was not used to opponents who, like you, could fight back. Hamparo yells while he makes another attempt to attack, but as the short dramatic music, which was composed by Nozomi Ayuki, as this sounds like something out of an 80s horror movie to me, plays, the shadow figure vaults over him and then strikes his knees directly into his spine. Hey, that's called animal abuse. Hamparo. What's up? I can't move. What have you done? The shadow figure. I ruptured certain power points. Not only you are helpless, but you will be dead in another 30 seconds. Hamparo. No, you can't. The shadow figure. It's very simple. Your body will pull until it breaks your spine in half. In 20 seconds. Hamparo. Wait. Help me. I beg you please. The shadow figure. How many of these hamsters beg for mercy? Hamparo. I don't want to die! The shadow figure. Too bad. 
give the devil my regards. He walks away, leaving Hamparo inside. With just 10 seconds left, Hamparo begs to be spared while saying, Please, don't leave me like this. I can't sit in. I can do whatever I want. I can't die like this. God will save me. And he dies. Poor Hamparo. He's one of my favorite cute characters. The shadow figure leaves the arena and walks to the camera. He says, For those Wars and Hamparo fans who watched this episode, will go to the other fool that watched this. He points at the camera and he says, You are already dead. I yelled. What? To a TV. As the high, pitched sound is heard, the camera stretches, breaking itself with a lot of blood and suddenly cut into black as the classic 80s Yakuto no Ken slash Fist of the North Star anime exploding SFX sound effect is heard. Drops of blood fall and drip on a black screen to reveal the Japanese text translating to Goodbye, Hamparo. And you're next. You can't tell me that I'm next when every text says you're next. The only credits are Music by Motoyoshi Iwasaki and Copyright 1995-2005 Kenshiro Production in Japanese. What? Music by Motoyoshi Iwasaki? More like Music by Nozomi Ayuki. I ejected the DVD and destroyed it using a sledgehammer. I had nightmares and horrifying memories about this DVD. If you find a copy of this DVD, just destroy it or stay away from it.